Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ino. In today's video, we'll see two ways that we can install and uninstall software packages on Linux Mint. Now, the first way is to use the software manager, which is a GUI. And to get to it, just go to the menu, click on the menu and search for software manager, which is right here. Click on it to open it. And this is the software manager right here. Now in our demonstration, we'll be installing and uninstalling Google Chrome. So let's search for it here. So in this search box, we'll do Chrome. And we have different versions. We're gonna go with the, the stable version, Google Chrome stable. So click on it to open it. And here you have the option to install. Just click install, then put in your password. and that should install it for us. Okay, it's almost done here. Once it's done, we can go ahead and uh, see if we can open Google Chrome. So it's done with the install. Now we have the option to remove it. Let me go to the menu again and search for Chrome. And now we have Google Chrome. And we're able to open it. Now let's say we wanted to remove it, we'll go through the same process. We'll open the menu, we'll open the software manager. Then we'll search for Google Chrome and, and this time we'll have the option to remove it since it's already installed. So if I do Chrome here, and if I click this version, you see now I have the option to remove it. So if I click remove, it's asking for the password. And now I'm getting the option to install because it's no longer installed. If I close this and go to the menu and search for Chrome, I shouldn't find Chrome. There's no Chrome because it's been uninstalled. That's the first way to install and uninstall software. The, the other way is using the terminal. So let me open the terminal and we'll use the terminal here to install Google Chrome. Now with Google Chrome, you might have to download the .deb file first before you can install it. So let me cd to my downloads folder. And I already have the file here, the .deb file for Google Chrome. You'll need that in, in order for you to install Google Chrome. So the command to install it here on the terminal is to use sudo dpkg i and then the file name here, this file name. So Google from tab completion, enter, put in your password. So that command will unpack and install Google Chrome stable for us. And it's done with the installation. To check which packages you have installed, there's a command also we can use on the terminal. You can do, you do clear here. You can do dpkg-l, and that shows you all the packages you have installed. And if you're looking for a specific package, you can use grep here. Grep save com, and it tells us what version we have installed. So when it when it comes to uninstalling, we can use the apt tool. So if I did apt-h. There's different options we have. We can use remove, which removes the package. And then we also have page here, which removes the packages and uh, their configuration files. So this is the preferred option. Let's go ahead and use that. And we'll do, first before we do that, let's just check that we actually install Google Chrome. If I come here and do Chrome, you'll see that I have Chrome and I can open it. And uh, let's go ahead and uninstall it. Now, when you're removing a package, you need to know the package name, and we can use dpkg l grep chrome, which should tell us the package name here. And now to remove it, we can use the command sudo apt iphen iphen purge remove. Then you have to put the name of the package. Here it's a Google. Chrome 
stable. Yes. So if you look at the last line here, it's saying purging configuration files for Google Chrome stable. If I do clear and I repeat the dpkg l grep, you will see that we no longer have Chrome. And if I went to the menu and search for it, it's not going to show. It's no longer there. So that's all for this video. That's how you can install and remove software packages on Linux Mint using either the software manager or using the terminal. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.